Hello, everybody. Welcome here to Thursday Night Modern. I'm your commentator, Luke Tease, for the night. I'm Robert Meadows. We're uh, here to entertain you with some Magic the Gathering. With, uh, we got Joey Calendar on Jun and Terrell Flowers on Grixis Shadow. Where is Terrell? Where Terrell is fixing something. He is fixing. Did he have a sleeve? His, his board? Who knows? Oh, something probably wrong with his 75. Um, howdy, friends. Entertain me, peasants. Well, I'm not entertaining you anymore because uh, I'm not a peasant. You, Does uh, me par picking Robert. up heritage druids yeah. entertain you, Paul? So it's official and blooming marshes, so it's official that I'm building elves. Hello. Hello, Wood Mesa. Uh, that's that's the most excited I've seen someone be about me. CB. Nova Killers, thank you for the host. Heck yeah. Hosted with one. Hey, that's, that's more awesome. than zero. That's more than zero. That's fine. That's great. Um, yeah. Desk is... Yeah. Um, the only thing right now is I'm really hesitant to want to buy Guilt Leaf Palaces. So how bad would it be to run uh, overgrown tombs for the time in their place, for the time being in their place, Paul? Would What's it be, up, would it be four that judge? bad? Or would it be like, just kind of eh? For the first time, I feel like I'm playing magic instead of just like, you know, doing whatever I do to people. <laughs> Evening level four judge. Lanimal, yeah, Lanimal Waste over, maybe Lanimal Waste over here? I don't know. I don't see what Paul says. He's, I, I feel like, I feel like Paul. Oh yeah, Lanimal Waste is the ones that you pay. Yeah, it's a pain land. Okay, that's fair. How much are Lanimal Waste? Probably not that much. No. Uh, why would someone play any other deck than Jund? Uh, because they want... To be degenerate and play combo. Um. Well, there's different kinds of mid range. So, like, yeah, you just need like Jun in general or mid range. Uh, do we ever run commander matches on here? No, we don't really. We don't uh have actually like commander leads here. We'd have people who come here and just uh chill and play commander, but we yeah. don't really ever stream it. They're uh, just here for casual play mostly. Uh, sometimes we stream. Co we do sometimes put commander on stream. Uh, like if it's just like one v one. Yeah, I guess that's true. We we do usually we do occasionally put like yeah. between matches or between rounds we'll put people on playing commander. Yeah, yeah during pre-release we do a lot of funky stuff to get inter to, to um fill time and entertain yeah. you guys. There's decks other than Jun. Yeah. Yeah, what's Jun people? Okay. I was like, oh man. What? Also depends on if you have caverns or not. Um, yeah, I need to pick up caverns. That's, that's another thing. I'll eventually pick those up. I don't know. It may, I may pick those up with this paycheck, depending on how much it's, it is. But I also have, like, a lot of uh, stuff coming up that yeah. I have to pay for. Got a, my birthday, girlfriend's birthday, our anniversary, and Valentine's Day. That mm -hmm. all happened within a span of a week and a half. That sounds terrible. Yeah. Because our yeah. her birthday is on the 13th. Valentine's Day is on the 14th, mm -hmm. and then our anniversary is on the 22nd. So, uh, it's a blast that time of year. I only spend, like, $500 in the span of a week and a half. Uh, if you run caverns, I suggest unclaimed territory over any other black, black land. If not, territory replaces cavern. Okay, that's fair. I'm just looking to run a little bit cheapo. Well, yeah, you probably don't can't afford the entire deck right now. No, nah, I can't afford the entire deck. I, which, like, realistically, I literally will have everything yeah. other than, like, some of the sideboard. And, um... Yeah. So we got an switch in here for Terrell. Lands. Are we going to soft stub this? Yeah, Stubborn Denial here is definitely gas. We got to keep our hand, because Gris' so, Shadow is entirely, other than Gurmag Angler, is entirely two mana or less, right? Or three mana less, because they're in K Command. That's um, right. K Command is typically in the side for most. Oh, are there, or is it really um, now? Yeah, because, like, so how the deck's set up now in the main is just, like, trying to be slim as possible with, like, less clunky spells. Mm. So there's, like, a bunch of one mana spells and Snap and Team Battle Rage. That's fair. Also, dismember is <clears throat> three mana. Technically. Terrell, you have to. Okay, it was, it was like, Terrell, you got a stubborn denial. Yeah, cast, um. Actually. Uh, just become single in the next 34 days and then buy elves for single awareness day. Uh, I don't know about that. I kind of love my girlfriend, so and I enjoy her company. Yeah, I like your girlfriend, too. 
She's a little sweetie pie. Yeah, um... Apparently, I suck. Yeah, apparently, Robert sucks. So, thought sees, um... So... Thoughtsies here takes... Probably, if we have more than one shadow, uh, take males from pulse, if we have... Um, so, basically... It's really, it really is contextual on, on Troll's hand. Um, Mil Milstrom Pulse probably is honestly probably the weakest card. Mm. It? Because it's, um, it's a lot, uh, uh, easier to... Okay, so we have Fatal Push for this Goyf, so we're not worried about the Goyf. No, so... Although we have to take a turn off to deal with the Goyf. Not really. we only have depends. Island in hand, so we're not going to be able to Fatal Push the Goyf on Joey's end step. Well, it depends, like, what he has. It's like, so... But I don't think we take Goyf at all. Assassin's Trophy? That's fair. So, uh, that's fine, because if he... So, if he has a Grimmag Angler hand, like I was trying to go for before... Oh, Terrell's just going to pass without playing a land. I think he forgot. Uh, <laughs> I, he's looking at the island like, Oh, I forgot to play. Uh, I forgot to make a <laughs> yep, he just said, Oh, I forgot to make a land. Uh, yeah, I saw that they printed that 2-mana uh, Goyf is a 3-4 for the people at home. I think, but we, we've had a 2-mana Stifle before, haven't we? And it has, like, split second. Yeah. Yeah, they have Trick Bind. Yeah. So, but this one draws a card, I guess, so it's, I think, doesn't it? So no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't? Okay. No. Never mind, then. Um, it just has another side to it, so it's a little bit uh, Yeah, better. basically it's a 2-mana instant uh, Stifle. Or uh, you have... So if you guys thought, like... So it really doesn't matter if he had his land drop or not. Like, played his land drop. Based on the context of the sand, anyways. So, it, since like Trolls at 15, I would actually take a hit here from the Goyf because mm -hmm. you gotta manage your life total somehow. That and we don't really have any way in our hand to reduce our life total for yeah. a potential death, death Shadow, which I think he has. He has one. So, like, the reason why I do like getting the Assassin Trophy, one, um, since you already have a basic, since like Terrell already had a basic in hand, it was fine. If he like just randomly drew the other one, like, yep. Trophy actually became Vindicate. Yeah. Um, um, but then, um, if he just, like, tries a Gurmag plan, uh, Maelstrom Pulse is the easiest thing to deal with. We draw Bolt, we don't have a red source, yeah. this is a little unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, so, Trell at 12 is fine. Uh, we don't need to do anything. Uh, split copies of Creature Control, that's right. Uh, hey, check out that sick Twilight Mire in Joey's hand. Yeah, Twilight Mire, dude. Twilight Mire, it's the best card in Modern. JK. It's the best card in uh, Joey's hand right now. Um, I don't know. Sick confirmed. So, I think Feral, I mean, Terrell can take one more hit. I think. Mm. <laughs> nice bolt! I mean, uh, that's kind of like how I was the other day, is I like playing cards that aren't actually what I meant to be playing. Sometimes it happens. I don't mind going uh, to 9 here. Yeah, I think I like going to 9, actually. So, the reason I like going to 9 right here, Terrell, like, because if we had this, um, this, if we play Death Shadow... I guess Terrell is also thinking about that he has this information that he really shouldn't about Joey having a bolt in hand. I mean, um, you take advantage of that easily. Uh, it looks like we drew a Gurmag angle. Yeah, so, the reason why I like taking that hit to 9 for Terrell is because he can, if you do a Stubborn now, he can just go, um, Shadow, hold up Stub. Mm. And it would actually be online, because it would have 4 power. Mm. Um, so now, like, this, cur like, Razor Ring can just, like, run away with the game, as odd as that is. Yeah. Good old Raging Ravine. Raging Ravine is really strong. We have double snap in hand, though. So, so we may, like, the sack one. Or, like, we can just, like, so... We can sack one to just chump the Raging Ravine. Or we can just take the hit, go to eight, um, deploy a Death Shadow. shadow. Um, so basically then, if Joey misses a land drop, um, then he has to, like, he can activate Ranger Ravine again. Mm. So, like, so we know he has fifth land in hand, so, but if he doesn't find sixth land, um, he wouldn't be able to, um, activate Ranger Ravine and... Fatal push? Yeah. Yeah, or remove it. Right, or so Joey, gonna... Joey's just gonna go Gurmag Angler here, which I, I actually like. You mean... Goyf? Yeah, that's what I meant. That's fine, Robert. Uh, we're gonna pass back. We're just gonna. I I don't here. like playing the snap here now. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, it 
it's it doesn't really do anything. We're kind of just deploying it to have something going on. I think there's no need. Um, and now, I like since like Pharrell's at, I think I think you're right. I don't think there was really a need. We just kind of did it. Did it. We should have um, held off a little bit. Um, we have double blue, so I think just getting the blood crypt is the best land to fetch up here too. Uh, hack team hacking finished. Uh, they went 6-3, and they were playing for day two last round. I would get a Steemix or a Blood Crypt right here if I'm Corral, because you do have the team of Outrage and Bold in hand. It, it's not, you're right, Last God. It is not Friday yet. What do, what do we say about Friday? Last God, he's like, it's not Friday yet. Right. It's not. <laughs> yeah, it I'm just not. not liking... Personally, I'm just not liking how Corral's playing... I mean, it can be Steam Vents or uh, Blood Crip. Oh, yeah, it has to be Steam Vents because it's Flutter Strand. I'm, oh, I'm thinking Strand. of optimal fetches, my bad. I, yeah, I think I was thinking it was a polluted Delta as well, so yeah, okay. Uh, you know, yeah, you're right, Lump Lump. I, was... I thought it was a polluted Delta at first. I don't know why. Okay. So, yeah, Steam Vents off the fetch. <laughs> yes. There, then, 100%. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I think Fro actually just wanted. I still don't like playing that snap he played. I don't either. So now we can snap push yeah. something. Um, hey, yeah. I mean, Cat Nabs is five o'clock somewhere. Swing for two. Threaten a bolt. Yeah, like. So yeah, I I don't hate that swing. Mm. Um. So. Trail missing land drops was definitely is definitely hurting him quite a bit though because we. Missed out on the chance to be able to s snap stubborn denial anything here because if we had a. I mean, we can snap stub anything. Like, yeah. Or we can just, like, uh, if he animates um, Colonnade, I mean, a Rage Ring, we can just, like, snap push it. I would not play the Death Shadow right here at all. Actually, yeah. no, we can because we have the bolt. It looks like he's going to deploy the Gurmag Angler. So why not leave up the red mana for the bolt? Is my question. Yeah, um, it definitely seems questionable. Well, he has to exile his entire graveyard. But still, like, if he wants to cast this, why not leave a red mana for yeah, both? Yeah, that's right. yes, obviously, but or he did, I if he does not do this, I think he's realizing uh, yeah. that he, it's just a better idea to hold off. But like, that uh, <sighs> signals to Joey 100% if I, that uh, Terrell has a Gurmag Angler. Yeah, now, like, he's just playing his dash out to get pushed, and it's whatever. And then, like, Jerry's gonna be like, push, and he's like, yeah. We're gonna put a little. We got a Death Shadow die instead of a Tarma die. Push. Yep. Yep. And now. Now we're kind of back to square one of. Yeah, between so. Between a rock and a hard place. Um, yeah, we're gonna. We're just dead, actually. We take. No, we bolt the uh, Rage Ravine with a trigger on the stack. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to say. Yeah, so we go to five. Uh, so we're at Rochelle two because of the known oh. unknown shock that uh, bolt that should be not known about. So if I'm Trell here, I'm just not going to swing and play D. All right. We have a fetch land that's not a deal um it can get a shock land so like trails is dead to double bolt oh i'm just gonna snap push now um this is really strange sequence for me um it's a little odd to be doing that on your turn but it's fine i think uh, Maelstrom Pulse, the snap. Yeah, that's, again, yep. why it's kind of an odd choice. Uh, I guess he, Joey could just do it in his main nice. phase. We're going to Inquisition. We have uh, Gurmag, yep. Team or Battle Rage. Uh, Toro does get to deploy this Gurmag Angler, though, now, which is super powerful. Um, and it's just a 5-5. Five five. Like, without... Yeah, but at this point in the game, Goyce just having a 5-5. Five five. Goyce, Goyce a 4-5. Um, at this point in the game, having a 5-5 five five is perfectly fine like there's nothing wrong with it it's getting hey, i'm not saying it's ahead 
Um, it's just a 5-5. Five five. I, I know, but it's getting Terrell a board state, and yeah. that's what he needs. But you're acting like it's the best thing ever. It's not. I, it's not the best thing ever, but it's like... But that's what you're acting like. I, I don't mean to act like that. It's, it's good. Don't get, like, it's not bad. You no, I'm not saying it's bad at all. Uh, yeah, that, that was an altered Inquisition. No, it's a cr completely normal Inquisition, guys. <laughs> Germangler. Yeah, um... Well, uh, it's the best thing until he rips Lily off the top and he dicks, basically. I am totally okay. I'm just being real here. Like, He's it, a little it, angry. No, it, like, Gurmag Angler's a fine threat here. It's, it's not the best thing ever. I always I mean, need a hug. I think it's one of the best things that Terrell could be looking for. Oh, yeah. Because it's a hard, like, it... Oh, yeah, like, in this context, like, in this context, yes, yeah, fine. Cake Man is a decent draw. Um, but now we can just like. Oh no! It's like it means Terrell's dead. Yeah. Uh, no, he only has one red. Oh, he only has one red. Oh, he does. You're right. Yeah. Um. So I we that could. Was a blood crypt or anything. Um. New mythic planeswalkers are cool. No, Luke, do not give me a hug. So, yeah, this is lethal burn. Um. If I w if I was Joey right now, I would actually just probably tunnel vision on the Dreamag Angler and actually just try and kill it. <laughs> Because I I'd never find, I need Robert to sign some cards for my modern bet deal. And now assassin, <sighs> my signature is not that bad, believe it or not. Attack for five, take Joey to ten. Where's the ten? Right there. Or nine. That's right. He oh yeah, fetched. nine fetch. Um. My all my signature is an RM. Pass. Cake man. Yep. Now Terrell's dead. I would act so. Unless we have a stub. <laughs> Oh, yep, there nope. we go. There we go. That's Joey taking it 1 0 right now over Terrell. So we go on to the next round in sideboard. Uh, and before Cycle Street Wraith to eat a bolt. Um, hey, Robert, I want poorly signed cards, but he can make it pass. He only signs teamer cards. I don't know what I sign. He played against John. How do you know the sideboard? Um. So do does Grixis Shadow still run some number of lilies in the side? Um, yeah. Uh, or K Command. So basically, even if um he cycles to attempt to find Stub, he's just dead to the bolt that he Joey accidentally saw. So like it didn't matter. Yeah. Do you have a link to a teamer list? Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I would have to get it later. I don't have it right if now. If you go to our website, Top yeah, that's, Productions. that's so outdated. Don't it even. It is, but it's don't out. It's outdated. But it's, it's, it's outdated. Not. It's outdated. Go to topdeckproductions.com. There are deck lists there. Robert has a uh, teamer list. It's an older teamer list, but it's a teamer list that he uh, he top aided with, or he went uh, seven zero at a. I did stuff with it. Classic and did some good stuff with it. Then it got DQ'd. Well, you did. Didn't you go seven zero in another classic with the no. exact same list? Or no, I uh, went seven one one. Seven one one with a. Well, the other one I went seven zero two. With a similar list. I'm the same. I went percentage out of those two class classics were insane. Yeah. I only lost one match. <laughs> pretty pretty good, with teamer. Good old teamer. <sighs> Jun needs more Nar uh, No, Narnan Renegade is actually not. Uh, not, not Jun does not want Narnan Renegade. Narnan Renegade is not good in the meta right now. Narnan Renegade feels good in the creature meta. And I mean, we're in so a combo meta. so the thing about Narnan Renegade is it does more than just like, like block creature decks. Um, like Narnan Renegade. So what server do you guys host on Westar? Does it run? Uh, it runs the Rangers ninety five. Let's be real. Um, the thing about like Narnan Renegade, um, it does a lot more than just like. No, it attacks effectively too. Like you took me from like twenty to like eight in one game with just an Arnhem Renegade. I had two. I had two. So like and the thing I was like, uh, uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> cool. So like the thing about Arnhem Renegade is like, um, it can play a tempo game really well. It, like it's it can play similar to like a Delver of Secrets. Yeah. Um, where you don't. Um, I rather take a two three that is constant than a <laughs> one one maybe sometimes a two three two. In modern legacy, different story. Yeah, <laughs> I take a three-two flyer in legacy a lot because I can get that thing to flip. What about three-two with Shroud? Yeah. Like, uh, are you talking about <sighs> nimble mongoose? Uh, that does have an evasion, so I just get like blocked by a lot of things. So the thing, so 
But let loose the goose. Oh, the goose is loose, dude. Always. <laughs> Gotta let loose the goose. I know, I um, think I can we print number one goose in modern? No, because it has shroud and also threshold. Wait, where, where do you where did you see that at? No, right. nowhere. That was I've just heard people say that. Um. So also, like, even if nibble mongoose did get printed in um, modern, it wouldn't be that good. Yeah. Um. Um. So like, the reason like nibble mongoose wouldn't be that good is because like, the way uh the can Canadian threshold deck or team or de uh rug delver, uh works in legacy. Yeah. And if I'd have taken the push. Um. Like it has like the wasteland stifle and like all these other cheap threats and cards yeah. that are able to uh, be a lot more resource efficient like days um and resource constricting for your opponent yeah basically like, you're able to like, so like you're in legacy you're a lot you are easier to it's a lot easier to like extend the early game longer than your opponents wanted it to yeah because like what team or delver uh, rug delver it's not team or delver because it's legacy legacy rug delver is rug delver it's not team or delver people i'm i'm bad about calling it team or even though it's rug I know that seems like weird, even though they're the same thing, but it's actually just factual true. Uh, yeah, in Legacy, you use... And, or you can call it Canadian Threshold. Although, Grixis Delver is the what you use to describe that. Well, yeah, no because... it Blue, Black, Red Delver. Well, yeah, because... Um, or Rub. Because, like, those have been, like, those were out during the time Legacy was made. Yeah. They're not new. Yeah, um, but... Um... Like, Rug Delver in Legacy is able to extend the early game a lot longer than people want it to. That's right, because it was uh, in shards, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. And then Teamer got it when it was uh, cons. cons. Good old magic storyline, everybody. Um, but Ooh, we got double BBE a hand with two lands. That's we're going to ship back. Oh, I would have kept that hand, dude. Double BBE, Liliana. There's so many good cards I here. I had a bob, too. Yeah, Jerry brings up mulligan, mulligan aggressive. aggressive. Mulliganing aggressively sometimes isn't bad. Yeah, it's uh, something I've always been very hesitant to do, and I, I need to get better at. Sometimes actually, you just gotta take actually, take modern by its uh, uh, hands and hope for the best. Yep. But uh, we actually have an article that Justin put out a few months ago about mulliganing. Yeah, talks about how mulliganing modern feels and how to know when to mulligan a little bit. It's a good article on the website as well. Oh, yeah. Um, so, so, basically, Joey Mulligan to uh, uh, six, but you're seven, so here's what's going to happen. He's, he can choose to either Mulligan at five, or uh, Terrell, gets Terrell gets to, to Thought Seas him, but instead of let's say, any, instead of non-land, it can actually get land. So, if... He gets to take one random card, or not one random, he gets to take one card and put it to the bottom of his deck. But, but I did say, but the rule I did say was for comp, so I easily could be wrong about this. He's going to lose a finger to the judge. Yeah, he loses a finger. You don't have a price for a costly mistake. So... He now has to play five finger fillet for everyone to see. Heck yeah. Be an edgy, edgy high school kid. Hey, how's it going, man? Going pretty good. Playing some modern. How's everybody doing out there? We got uh, we got thirty six people watching. A little bit. We got a few. How's everybody doing out there on this Thursday night though? You tired. Yep. Yeah, so the rule I gave was for comp modern. Friday? Friday night. You guys left me in the pet. It's our, Thursday. Is our stream? No, Thanks. you said Friday. Did I say Friday? I yeah. thought I said Thursday. No, you said Friday. I like this hand from Joey. Shut up, Nightbot. I'm good. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Lump Lump. How does everyone feel about Phoenix? Um, I still personally believe that it is hot deck of the, of the month. Hot deck of the week. Hot I like it. Month. Uh, I like it, but I think it will not quickly fade, but I think it will fade. Um, so, like, it's a deck that's... Stream title says Friday. I, I knew I said Thursday. I said Thursday. Wait, why does it say Friday, then? 
No, you said Friday, though. I said Thursday. Yeah, no, you said Friday. But no, I'm gonna fix go the stream tile. I'm going to go back and watch this, and then I'm going to send you a link to it with the timestamp, and it's going to be, said, I said Thursday. You know, you really could have. I just committed myself. You said Friday. Uh, Fifth of Jack, I like your name. Did yeah. you see, is it with the Dat 7 Blue? Yeah. The uh, one mana Drake. It's actually kind of cool, because it's um, seven and a blue, but it gets reduced for one for each instant and sorcery yeah. in the graveyard. Hungover. So if I am Terrell, I want to get rid of the spell bomb since he has a Gurmag Angler hand. Um, I think it could fit nicely in the standard Phoenix. I don't think it could fit in the modern Phoenix personally. Yeah, that's like I called it. Take Man, look at look how smart I am sometimes. Because it turns out putting down a Nile Hill spell bomb and then spell bombing someone who has a Gurmag Angler. Yeah. Did Terrell forget to play land again? No, he was on the play. He was on the play. Because he lost. Oh, I thought, okay. I yeah. thought Joey had two lands out, by the way. I was looking at his hand. No. I was super confused. Well. I've been reading chat for a little too long. If you were paying attention, it would be a lot easier. <laughs> I'll, uh, you know, Faith of Jack, your name's just great. So, based on the contacts, couldn't res So, like, Terrell could just go for an early Gurmag Angler right here. Um, because he has a Thought Scout or Bobble. Um, he's most, more likely to Bobble the opponent now because... Any ways of like setting it up since like he's like Thought Scout on this turn anyway, it makes more sense to um bobble Joey here. Mm -hmm. Mainly because he's Thought Scouting and shuffling anyways. Yeah. So there's no way to like manipulate the top card the library. Cause like you there's no way you're keeping the card is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So just having uh near perfect information about one except my just one drillist. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna thought scour ourselves. We could always stall Skyward Joey to be, um... It's Snapcaster Death Shadow. Who would you land? Team or Battle... He kept... He probably kept one Battle Rage in. I think it's reasonable to just keep Battle Rage Um, you not... Don't have enough Delve. He does not have enough Delve. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, because... Oh, yeah, he does. He, he double fetched and... Yep. Because, so... Thought seized. So, Thought Skyward is three. Double fetch. Thought seized. Yeah. Yeah, he has. Um, we're, we're dumb. Yeah, he... He fetched turn one. So fetch, fetch, Thalsies, Thal Scour. Uh, yeah, so he should be at... So fetch shot, fetch shot. Uh, he should be at 12. Yeah, he should be at 12, not 14. Or was it Inquisition? Was it Inquisition? Maybe it was Inquisition. Mm. He should be at 12 then. Yeah, man, I'm so good at this. Um, hey, I caught it too. You should, yep. We're gonna fetch. Play, deploy this goif. So, like, we want to get a black land right here too. Mm. Um, and goif is a lot smaller now. Yeah, is, goif's a one two. No, it's a two three. Yeah, two three. I so I was thinking. Oh, we're deploying Bob. So we're deploying the more uh, uh, Andrew, Bob. unknown information. I really would like to deploy Goy because that's known information. Yeah. And, like, um, or I think in this spot right now, you'd rather have Goy be able to fill rather than Bob because, like, you're really trying to find that third lane for the Liana Ville in your hand right now, Joey. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I like the, deploying the Bob personally because just um, card advantage. Um, is... Hey, Justin. Um, the, there's Bob, he put, Terrell put his Bob in the exile pile. should be in the yeah. graveyard pile for him. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, hey, I noticed it. <laughs> it's fine. It happens. Yeah. Um. So, from Joey too, I also like deploying this Bob just because I feel like hitting my land drops is really important at this point. But like, you you have to assume like Terrell has a removal spell. Um. I don't know. I think I'd pers if a Bob's gonna get hit just like a. All right. Get so hit. we're keeping this Bob. Like the only removal spell that. Terrell All right. Has Alright. So now, like, we do have to play this Goyf. Yeah. I'm really glad he didn't play the Goyf that he just drew. Mm. Um, but the only removal spell that Terrell really has that could kill Bob but wouldn't kill a Goyf at this point would be just Bolt. And I'm more likely to fear the push than I am a Bolt. Yeah. 
We just want a hard cast. Full mana dismember. Yikes. All right. So now Goy uh, so, is a 4-5. So, so here's one thing about, like, Death Shadow players that I don't like about Enter and Cycle Street Wraith. It's so wrong. Why? You want to draw that card no matter what. I guess that's true. So you want to draw that card no matter what. Get information, see if you have a fetch land or something. Yeah, well, like, and so, like, or, you really... Or say it's... I don't, I don't know if they're playing Serum Visions anymore, but say it's a Serum Visions, and then you can Serum Visions, get more information, and then decide if you want to cycle it, too. Um, yeah, like, and, like, with uh, uh, Street Wraith plus... So, like, Serum Visions plus Street Wraith so is preordained. Mm. But it literally yeah. is preordained. Yeah. Because, um, like, Terrell's going to draw that top card no matter what, right? Um, so, like... He is going to battle rage, go to two. So now, if Terrell has Bolt or K Command, Joey is pretty dead. Or we just reveal the Fulminator and we go to game three. All right, so that, we're going to game three. Uh, well, Terrell got to see uh, a bit of Joey's sideboard that yeah. he brought in there because we got to see Fulminator actually. Which now, I would have blocked the bo with Bob right there though. Um. Yeah. Cause like I don't want to die. Cause too. like if you're thinking about battle rage, you're dead anyway. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd want to die to Bob, so I think it's reasonable to block. With so it. like if he blocks, well, he has Lily on the veil, which is a very good card in the matchup still. Mm. So like if he just like get gets it through, well, like, if he does blow his battle rage there also, um, he goes to three. Yeah, but with Jund, you have such a high density of two two drops and three drops that I feel like it's a little risky to go to two. No, I'm, I'm saying block. Oh, no. Oh, I thought you said don't block. I no, I'm saying, saying block because, like, uh, based on your hand... And at that point, Goyf was uh, being able to match up with um, Gurmag Angler. Yeah. Um, so, because you had instant creature... Uh, and artifact. It was a 4-5. Yeah, so, and, like, a sorcery just need to be cast. Yeah. And if... Um, so, like, say... Um, um, uh, he didn't, he just cast, he didn't cast Battle Rage, but then he cast a Thought Sea, so I would put a Sorcery or Planeswalker in. Mm -hmm. Well, Sorcery for sure and Planeswalker, because, like, Terrell would have to choose between the Goy for the Liliana. Yeah, and I feel like he'd be definitely more inclined to take the Liliana. And, because, like, then, um... He had the, I believe he had a push for Goy. No, he didn't. No, he not didn't. anymore. Okay, he had a Thought Scour. Oh, that's right. No. Um, so, like, just... Yeah, I would just block for Bob. For those of you who don't know, though, we have a giveaway going on right now. That happened oh, already. Oh, that happened already. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, we have well, subscriber giveaway. We have subscriber giveaway. It's, uh, so no ticket needed. If you uh, have Twitch Prime out there and want to give us a subscription for the month, that'd be much appreciated. Uh, for those of you who don't know what, what Twitch Prime is, if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to one free channel on if it's linked through the same account of Twitch. Um... But we have a, like I said, we have a January subscriber only giveaway. If, you don't, if you're subscribed, you're automatically entered into it. Yep. If we reach 30 subscribers, we will give away an Ultimate Masters Back to Basics. If we reach 40 subscribers, we'll give away an Ultimate Masters Dark Depths. And if we reach 60 subscribers, we'll give away a foil Ultimate Masters Mana Vault. So if you want your chance to win a Back to Basics Dark Depths or a Mana Vault, then um, definitely enter into this giveaway. It's going to be really good. Uh, any of our affiliates here, like me or Robert, who subscribe, are not eligible for it, so... Yep. Maybe I should just, maybe I should just be subscribed anymore. Maybe you shouldn't be subscribing? Yeah, man. I get nothing from it. You get nothing? I just support no. the stream. Uh, you should win because it's your birthday this month. When's your birthday, Cat Navis? It's my birthday this month as well. Yay. It'll be my birthday next, not this coming Sunday, but next Sunday. What if I don't subscribe and I'm right the 22nd? Oh, you're on the 22nd? I'm the 20th, so. Nice. You got a Tuesday birthday this year. My new birthday's in November. You got it. Uh, it's, it's my birthday this month as well. Free Cobalt. Free go <laughs> Cobalt. Yay. You know what? We figured out, like, a pound of cobalt is, like, 20-something dollars. 
Am I right? Falcor. Good to know. Falcor. Uh, that's what me just and I. Do people track that? Like it's like two gold? something. I know there's a two in the front. Check pound and then kilogram. Info mine investments nineteen ninety six twenty dollars USD per pound. Terrell, you forgot to you forgot Bezo. your bobble. Bezo. I only deal I only I deal only in the straights. We got to, oh. <laughs> don't yell so loud to the mic that hurt my ears. Um, low mine cam pass number twenty nine. So for Terrell year, literally forgot his bobble trigger. Wow, did he? I didn't even yep. get to it. Dude, I, it's like I said, I pay attention to a lot. Street value of Cobalt is whatever you make it to be. Is Street value of Cobalt Catnabis is 50 OG Ops. 50 OG Ops. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might have a sideboard as well, but I'm not sure. I don't know this matchup. I don't know either, really. I played against it once, and like, we played with our hand revealed, and we talked about the game. But like, it wasn't like, you know. So, how, so basically this is a grindy matchup, folks. So, when Joey and Terrell read watch this, how... I should approach this matchup. This is a battle of resources and a grindy matchup. So don't be bringing surgicals. If I see at any point, if I see either bringing surgical, I will literally go outside, go out there and punch you. I, I know that seems tr dramatic, but like you got really got to be playing to the board here. I would say aggressive tonight. You laugh now, but when the government collapses and I have all my OG ops and cobalt, I'll be the one ruling. Um, all right, so we're gonna Thoughtseize here. We see Assassin's Trophy, Lightning Bolt, K Command, Liliana, and Fatal Push. Uh, I 100% believe that it's the Liliana. Um, um, so I say it might actually be the trophy uh, because oh, uh, yeah, we have, we have our because basic. um, Terrell has stubborn hand. So what Joey, the play pattern Joey may do here is fetch um and play uh, Lilian three, and it's like he it gets soft stub. Mm. Oh, we have stub. I thought it was. Uh, yeah, we have soft stub. Okay, I thought it was. I thought it was a uh, another thought scour. Sorry. So like trophy. Nope, nope. All we're right. just gonna take the lily. So I mean, that's also fine. <sighs> Joey is going to fetch because so when Terrell gets this assassin's trophy in play, I mean uh, the tasker in play, he'll have stub back up, which is huge. Yep. So like this really gets derailed by like a thought seize if Joey still has some in. Um I like thought seize and I like as a cream black X player, I like keeping thought seize in this kind of matchup because it's oh, just okay, another sorry. way to deal with uh, the Tasker like the all the dead zombie fish. Yeah. But in Terrell's case this Tasker, um I don't think he's a, he's part of the tech of play for fish. Because real big fish. And oh, oh this is good. Okay, so this is also nine. Um, I think Joey is considering whether he wants to fulminate yeah. this water grave right now, and I think the answer is yes, personally. Just tempoing Terrell right now is really <laughs> important. Um, yeah. So, like, there's a non zero chance Terrell just doesn't find a third land yeah. right here. Yeah, um, so Carnage Tyrant's probably going to keep his price. Um, I would like to see. I like to see what um you're doing. I like. I like to see what reveal cards come. Technically, if we're doing graveyard order, Roger Graves below Thought Skyward. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter in this. It matchup. doesn't. Yeah. Um. So fifth of Jack Carnage Shine is probably going to keep his price because of standard. Looks like Terrell yeah. is going to yeah. miss his land drop. So did he? Wait, did Terrell bring in Collective Brutality? I think that's what that is. I don't like that at all. I don't like that either. It's, um, uh, you can sometimes get the two for one with Jun, but it's with, if you say you kill a, um, BB and then you get to look at their hand, but in general, just anything else is better. No, no, uh, so. No, nah, he has to, he has to declare. Yeah, but like, he, like, tr No. Yeah. So Terrell's curious about how modes work, and he has he's, to he's used to playing Tron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's used to Tron. Uh, but you have to choose modes before you uh, do anything. Hybrid. Uh, hey, what's up, Bronze Five Zero Piece? Your boy Robert Meadows and Luke Tees. I saw Bronze Five uh, at a stream 
it was Brad's stream last night, right? Bronze. Uh, that would be nice to buy back. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, the cards are always super expensive yeah. before the set releases, though. Yeah. To our stream runner. Um, I was like six beers deep or seven beers because I was I was six beers deep at my friend's house and I had like two more at my house. Oh, where did you go last night? Uh, C Curtis Joseph's. No, I mean like what what bar did you or were you just like drinking at his place? Oh, you were just wanting me to come over there. Uh, I mean, I was going to drive to Clifton. Oh, no. I was, I was getting ready to go to bed. I was sleepy. Uh, talk about Graveyard Order. Today, I was playing Mono Red Stompy, practicing for tomorrow night, and I run into Manalist Dredge. Blech. Yeah, but Memory Crisis. Uh, yep. Darrell is missing all of his land drops. We're yep. struggling pretty hard here. Yeah. So. We're going to go to 12 with this Goyf attack. Yeah, yeah. Bronze five L, f bronze five LP zero is my dude. Hug Tron. Yeah, Terrell used to play Tron. He used to play Hardened Scales Affinity. Now he's on to right, this... Shadow. We hit our we hit our land finally. Um, Joey can just blow it up with a uh, Assassin's Trophy though if he wants to be a rude dude. Uh, a rude dude. I, yep. I imagine oh. Grixis only runs a island and a swamp. If yep. I, um, there's no basic mountain, so we're probably going to get a steam vents. Or we're probably going to blood crip. Yeah, I think blood crip is the right land. Because like, if it's going to get blown up anyways, it doesn't matter. Any Jeskai? Uh, yeah, the Jeskai player lost round one. No, Terrell, what are you doing? All right, this game's over. This game's over. We just get strip mined here, or we just get vindicated. Sorry. No, no, oh. strip mine also works. Yeah, strip mine also works, but no, no, Terrell. no, strip mine's also like a valid. Oh, Terrell, what are you doing? Like, or is like Terrell like mine blowing us all and have and has more than two basics? Like, this game's actually over now if Terrell only has these two basics. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Unless like, because. So I mean, so what I mean by that game's like not over. Over is just like uh, so like the advantage. I will put the advantage bar. Way in Joey's favor. Yeah. Like, Joey is probably... I'd, I'd put Joey at 90%, 99% right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, when Assassin Trophies actually vindicate... So, so for someone... So, for what... So, what y'all don't... So, what, if anyone's missing anything... Um, Terrell, um, fetch, so most, sha uh, De Grixis Death Shadow lists have two basics. An island and a swamp. Um, so he got a fetch land and he fetched for basic swamp. Um, relevant text on Assassin's Trophy is Detroit's target permanent. So, their owner may search their library for a basic land. So, untapped. So, yeah. if Terrell is following the traditional Grixis Shadow, um, list and only has two basics, Joey can literally vindicate his ba the basic swamp. And you go after Basic Swamp because, like, all of Terrell's threats are black mana. Yeah. Um, I really hope Joey sees this and Terrell can get punished because, he, well, he deserves it right here. He deserves it. Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but, like, the Assassin's Trophy is known information. And, like, even no quality in Joey's deck. Yeah. Um... So, although we have this stubborn denial still, right? Uh, no, he used it for the K command. That's right. Um, he's, Can, uh, he's so we have instant. He's looking. Instant creature sort. So Goy's a four five because we have planeswalker in the graveyard, right? Hey, um, can you make sure uh, Goyce is actually a four five, not a three four, because of planeswalker? Because a uh, planeswalker got discarded by Joey. Um, forever ago, and from what I know of Joey's graveyard, he has Planeswalker, Land, Creature, Instant. Mm. So, Goy should be a 4-5, technically, but, like, we can't control that. But, like, yeah. Like, they can't... If they want to think their Goy is smaller... Um, it's misrepresenting the boards? I don't... Do we tell... Yeah, we should tell them. Uh, just ask Joey if he has a Planeswalker in his graveyard, and he should realize it. 
if you can see Joey has a great or Planeswalker Liliana in his graveyard, then uh, tell him. Just let them know. Say, Goyf is a four or five guy. This is, this is, say, recheck Goyf. Instant creature land. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instant creature land planeswalker. Yeah, we don't so have sorcery right now, which is interesting. No. Um, Been for those no, you got. They had it right. It was a yeah, six yeah. seven. It was a six seven before. Uh, hmm. Yeah. See, I'm just on point with man, Joey. I have instant creature land planeswalker. Yeah. So I have four. And. All right. So, so wait, does Joey need to draw still? No, he, he drew it. If I'm Joey, I just activate Raging Arena. No, you uh, attack. Or no, wait. No, never mind. We don't activate Raging Arena. We attack here because you have Bolt. You can just kill this Tassiger. Yeah. We just attack with just the Goyf. Oh, yeah. We attack. I don't know. So, like, I would just attack with Goyf right there because, like, you can just Bolt the... Liliana, that's a uh, pretty. You die to this if it resolves. Yep. Basically, just dead. Yep. Terrell yeah. is just saying he can't yeah. beat it, and that's kind of true right now. Yeah. 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 So that's it for uh, round one of our Thursday Night Modern. We will yeah. be back here shortly, in about 10 minutes price. So come back and join us for more Thursday Night Modern. Uh, we'll try and get you guys some more fun matches, some more interactive matches, just like this. Patrick Nar Savage is up next. I don't care who he's playing Patrick against. Patrick Nar Savage. All right, we'll be putting on that's that's mid range, so we'll be putting on some good interactive magic for you guys. We'll be back here in a little bit.